Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just wanted to speak about Jesus a little bit, and I wanted to share a picture that I took on my phone this morning of the sunrise, and I said to the Lord, it would be amazing to see you through this beautiful sunlight where it's popping through the clouds, and you know we know that soon and very soon um, in God's timing that Jesus will will appear to all eyes to see and um, he's just truly amazing so I want to read out of the book of John John uh, chapter 10 Jesus the true shepherd most assuredly I say to you he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door but climbs up some other way The same is the thief and robber, but he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the doorkeeper opens, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. And when he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Yet they will by no means follow a stranger, but will flee from him. For they do not know the voice of strangers. And Jesus used this illustration, but they did not understand the things which he spoke to them. Jesus also said, Most assuredly I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who enter before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep, but a hireling who is not the shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf catches the sheep and scatter them. The hireling flees because he is a hireling and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep and am known by my own. As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. Therefore my Father loves me, because I lay down my life, that I may take it again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This command I have received from my Father, therefore... There was a division again among the Jews because of these sayings. Many of them said, He has a demon and is mad. Why do you listen to him? Others said, These are not the words of one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? Because Jesus had been doing miracles for them to see. And see, some people have to see to believe, like doubting Thomas um, had to stick his fingers in the hole in Jesus' side and touch the um, holes in Jesus' hand to believe. But Jesus said, for those that have true faith, believe without seeing. But the shepherd knows his sheep. Now it was the Feast of Dedication in Jerusalem, and it was winter, and Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then the Jews surrounded him and said to him, How long do you keep us in doubt? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you did not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness to me. But you do not believe, because you are not of my sheep. As I said to you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. I hope this encourages you tonight. God bless you always. Amen.